viewers welcome to way to commerce so today we are going to learn about the for intermediate students accountancy syllabus and paper pattern and also we are going to see the different types of accounts its classification with example we are going to understand accountancy first year first chapter introduction to accounting in this bookkeeping and accounting accounting principles recording of business transactions in this transactions we are going to see the classification and journal entries problems second unit subsidiary books and third unit cash book and bank reconciliation statement fourth unit trial balance and rectification of errors fifth unit it is final accounts of sole trading concern final accounts of sole trading concern in first unit so we'll divide as a chapter wise first one bookkeeping and accounting bookkeeping and accounting in this we are going to learn the introduction bookkeeping accounting basic accounting terms generally accepted accounting principles accounting principles and accounting concepts accounting conventions accounting standards ifrs and double entry bookkeeping system total completely theory in first chapter theory we are going to learn in second chapter it is recording of business transaction recording of business transaction recording of business transaction in second chapter introduction concept of vouchers preparation of vouchers accounting equation basics of accounting system of accounting meaning of accounting classification of accounting rules of debit and credit rules of debit and credit in third chapter we are going to learn the subsidiary books subsidiary books in this meaning need and advantages and types of subsidiary books these are small topics theory only we are going to learn in this fourth third chapter and fourth chapter preparation of subsidiary books purchase book sales book purchase return sales return journal proper so in this we are going to see the problems cash book fifth unit cash book in this meaning of cash book characteristics of cash book and also importance and advantages of cash book types of cash books and their preparation in this we are going to see the problems problematic very important chapter and sixth one bank reconciliation statement bank reconciliation statement in this chapter introduction nature of cash book nature of pass book and the reasons for the difference and meaning of bank reconciliation statement advantages of bank reconciliation statement and procedure for the preparation of brs and uh, preparation of brs under favorable balance we are going to see the preparation of brs under favorable balance overdraft in this also problems is there and seventh chapter trial balance trial balance in this introduction meaning features or characteristics objectives merits and limitations types of preparation of trial balance so in this we are not going to see the problems uh, completely uh, they are going to ask the theory different types of um, one small problem is there they will ask the problems for the small one and some theory also based on this chapter uh, we will do the final accounts trial balance is a base for the final accounts next uh, rectification of errors rectification of errors in this meaning of errors types of errors 
sub, um, suspense account rectification of errors okay in this also complete theory only is there we are going to learn one suspense account is there and next one ninth chapter final accounts of sole trading concern final accounts of sole trading concern in this introduction meaning objectives and uh, advantages and limitations capital and revenue items and preparation of trading trading profit and loss trading account and manufacturing account um, preparation of profit and loss account preparation of balance sheet in this problems we are going to see 10th chapter preparation of final accounts in this introduction types of adjustment preparation of final accounts with adjustment this 10th chapter is based on the 9th chapter final accounts in this adjustment is very important for final accounts in this we are going to see the 20 marks sum very very important chapter it is accounting definition which is uh, uh, given by the american institute of certified public accountants aicpa so it has defined the accounting as the art of recording classifying and summarizing in a systematic manner in terms of money transactions and events which in part or at least of a financial character and interpreting the results thereof this definition is given by the AICPA and accounting process accounting process first uh, start with the input input okay in input we are taking a input as a business transaction business transaction is a base for the input okay business transaction means any transaction it must be in monetary value buying or selling or exchanging or payment anything is a transaction business transaction and through this business transaction we are identifying the nature of the transaction so in this process identifying then we should record in the books classify we should do the total summarizing and we have to make the separate accounts and do the total analyzing we have to post them into another account and interpreting interpreting giving the explanation about the accounts result and communication this information we are providing for the useful purpose providing for the useful purpose and you can see the communication to the output it is information to users output why we are taking this input input we are taking a transaction doing a process means we are writing from journal entries to final accounts we are preparing in this process and we are getting some information that information we are resulting we are providing this information to the users so after preparation of the accounting we will get information about the business profit or loss or financial status we will provide information to users users means investors creditors government producers employees customers everybody is a user of the business information this is accounting process accounting process we'll see the classification of accounts it is a very important topic for a beginners we should know about the different types of accounts okay accounts are mainly classified into two types here we can see the personal account and impersonal account personal account and impersonal account this personal account is classified into natural persons, artificial persons and representative persons. Okay, three types of persons, artificial persons, natural persons and representative persons. Three types of persons. See, natural persons means, here natural persons means which is created by the God, like a human beings. Okay, Ram, Ram account, Rahim account. Albert account, Amar account, Anthony account, or Rani account, Sudha account. So everything is an account. Okay. So generally, human beings is nothing but natural persons. And next, uh, artificial person means which is created by the act, which is created by the act. According to the Company Act, if any company is registered with the name 
okay so we can say it is a company name name of the company is there it is artificial person company is created by law so we are calling it is a artificial person company created by law we are clear calling it is a artificial person so it is for example sbi bank sbi account canara bank canara bank account reliance company is there reliance account so like that uh, you can write any company name means it is a artificial person easily you can identify next uh, representative persons representative persons representative persons means like uh, advances or amounts payables or dues it is not a person but it is related to the persons only amounts dues amounts receivables prepaid insurance outstanding wages like that things we are treating as a representative persons understand the personal account three different three different classification is there and one more thing impersonal account impersonal account is nothing but it is a combination of the real account and nominal account real account and nominal account real account what do you mean by real account what it uh, says so it shows that it contains the information of the tangible and intangible assets completely asset transactions asset transactions buying of asset selling of asset okay so in this real account if any asset comes into the business any asset goes from the business we are calling it is a real account in this real account uh, tangible assets and intangible assets we are classifying based on the real account assets we are classifying tangible and intangible tangible assets means which we can touch which we can feel which we can see so that assets are the tangible intangible means which we cannot see which we cannot uh, uh, touch so here tangible assets like a uh, furniture buildings lands and you can say the furniture a uh, cash stock machinery so everything is a tangible and intangible means which we cannot see which we cannot touch which we cannot feel uh, like a intangible means like a goodwill good name of the company company name is there reputation of the company is there but you can't see it okay so goodwill of the company patents copyrights trademarks these are the intangible assets okay and nominal account means nominal account it contains the expenses losses incomes gains business means everything is there payments receipts expenses and incomes loss gains so everything will comes under the nominal account nominal account accounts classification of accounts in a classification of account uh, in telugu we are calling it is a khata telugu lo khata antamu so ee accounts anevi three types unnai వ్యక్తిగత ఖాతా అంటాం పర్సనల్ అకౌంట్ మీన్స్ వ్యక్తిగత ఖాతా ఇంపర్సనల్ వ్యక్తిగత ఇతర ఖాతా అంటాం పర్సనల్ అకౌంట్ క్లాసిఫైడ్ ఇంటూ న్యాచురల్ పర్సన్స్ ఆర్టిఫిషియల్ పర్సన్స్ రిప్రజెంటేటివ్ మీన్స్ ఆర్టిఫిషియల్ మన సాధారణమైన వ్యక్తులు సహజమైన వ్యక్తులు తర్వాత కల్పిత వ్యక్తి చట్టం చట్టం చేత కల్పించబడిన వ్యక్తి ఆర్టిఫిషియల్ పర్సన్స్ అండ్ హియర్ ఇంపర్సనల్ అకౌంట్ వ్యక్తిగత ఇతర ఖాతాలో రియల్ అకౌంట్ నామినల్ అకౌంట్ రియల్ అకౌంట్ అంటే మనం ఇక్కడ వాస్తవిక ఖాతా అంటాం వాస్తవిక ఖాతా తర్వాత నామమాత్రపు ఖాతా నామినల్ అకౌంట్ మీన్స్ నామమాత్రపు ఖాతా ఇక్కడ వాస్తవిక ఖాతాలో మనకి అసెట్స్ ఉంటాయి వాస్తవిక ఖాతాలో మనకి అసెట్స్ ఉంటాయి ఆస్తులు ఆస్తుల గురించి ఉంటాయి ఆస్తులు కొనడం అమ్మడము ఆస్తి రావడం బిజినెస్లోకి బిజినెస్లో నుంచి ఆస్తి వెళ్ళడం నామినల్ అకౌంట్ నామినల్ అకౌంట్లో ఇందులో మనకి ఖర్చులు ఆదాయాలు నష్టాలు లాసెస్ ఇవన్నీ కూడా మనకి నామినల్ అకౌంట్లో వస్తాయి ఓకే ఇన్ పర్సనల్ అకౌంట్ దెర్ ఆర్ డిఫరెంట్ టైప్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్స్ ఈజ్ గివెన్ రామ్ అకౌంట్ రహీమ్ అకౌంట్ అక్బర్ అకౌంట్ ఎల్ఎన్టి కంపెనీ అకౌంట్ స్టేట్ బ్యాంక్ ఆఫ్ ఇండియా అకౌంట్ టీసీఎస్ లిమిటెడ్ అకౌంట్ అవుట్ స్టాండింగ్ శాలరీస్ 
rent receivable account inter, uh, insurance prepaid account commission received in advance account so these are example for the personal account ivanni kuda personal account ki example next real account real account assets unta ikkada aasthulu here you can see the assets land and buildings machinery furniture motor van account goodwill account patent account copyrights account this is real account and nominal account contains the information nominal account lo wages salaries printing and stationery account advertisement expenses account discount allowed account discount received account bad debts account bad debts recovered account sales of goods account purchase of goods account these are the examples for the three accounts three different accounts accounting rules accounting rules are very important to record the transaction okay as per the dual aspect concept or the bookkeeping double entry bookkeeping system so we should follow the to record the business transactions we should follow some rules okay in this rules mainly the debit rule and credit rule two rules is here debit rule and credit rule okay two rules are very important so in this based on the account based on the account every transaction we are writing in two aspects every transaction we are writing in how many aspects two aspects one is debit and second one is credit aspect debit rule credit rule see in personal account in personal account receiver debit okay any receiver is there he is the debit giver credit the giver is credit receiver tiskune vaadu giver icche vaadu receiver ni debit cheyali you have to do the receiver debit and giver credit okay giver credit then you can see the real account real account means here what comes in debit what goes out credit what comes in debit what goes out credit anything asset real account means it contains the asset asset comes in debit asset goes out credit comes in means it comes into the business when asset comes into the business it is debit when asset goes from the business it is credit business lo ki vaste debit asset business lo nunchi velthe credit next nominal account nominal account it contains the debit side all expenses and losses we are writing debit side all expenses losses and payments and credit side all incomes and gains we are writing credit side all incomes and gains we are writing so this is a debit and credit rules we have to remember compulsory so this based on these debit credit rules we are going to record the transactions we are going to record the journal entries